Your OBD Oz uh, Bluetooth scan tool. As you can see, small in size, made from quality components, just plugs into your vehicle's OBD2 port and it allows you to check and clear engine fault codes and also create custom dashboards on your phone. Now your next step is to find your vehicle's OBD2 port, which unlike most cars is going to be uh, below the steering column here, above the pedal somewhere. So you can see down here we're looking at for this port that looks like this, it's a 16 pin port with angled sides. It can be behind a flat flap but it has to be within 50 centimeters of the steering wheel and has to be able to be like access without tools so it can be behind a plastic uh, flap that just needs to be pulled off. Then all you need to do is, is grab your OBD2 scan tool and plug it into this port. You can see it's now plugged on and like an LED light's come on. Um, these go into sleep mode uh, when you're not like, using them, so you can leave them plugged in as long as you drive your car at least like once every month. If you're driving, your, if you're not going, if you're going to park your car up for longer than a month, we suggest uh, removing it. Our blue con TV connector is left open, so there is like a number of different apps you can use but the main uh, use of these as you can see to make uh, to access your ECU you can see live data coming through here of the revs so you can build yourself uh, custom dashboards and view different data so the standard data that comes through is uh, things like revs uh, vacuum coolant temp and all that you can you can also bring in some like extra data using extra PIDs um, for specific vehicles so this could be like trans temp and other things that are not from the engine ECU. Now the main other use is to check and clear fault codes. So if you have any other faults come up, it's going to give you the code and what the definition. So you can see in the background here we have our check engine light on in our car, which also brings on some other lights on this Toyota. But when that comes on, you don't really have any idea what it means. So that's where this comes in handy. Scan for fault codes. And straight away it's going to bring up uh, the issues that the ECU is like seeing that's causing those problems. So it's got a P0102 um, mass air rose, uh, circuit low input. So what you can do is you can uh, diagnose these issues and then once you like sort them out you can uh, clear the fault, uh, the fault code. And you can see in the background here, we no longer have our check engine light on. Those faults have been cleared. So you can create uh, custom dashboards here to see what you want to see. You can uh, move these gauges around, you can set alarms on them, so you can alarm for a certain low or high on your coolant temp, or whatever you need to do. So you can have that like, running in the background or, or running in the foreground here, so you can see it at all times while you're driving.